Hey Cancer, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. So let's see what's going on with you guys, Cancer. Okay, thank you for your love, your support, your donations, and your super thanks. I'm sending all that love back to you all tenfold, okay? Let's see, Cancerians. It's all gloomy outside. I mean, well, oh shoot, the sun looks like it's coming out. I hope so. So let's see. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with you guys, Cancer. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, excuse me, ascended masters, gods, and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Cancer and your loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the center, blocking the interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Cancerians. And protect me as I channel the messages for cancer. Hey y'all, I don't know why I just ate them wings like that. So we have magnetic, extraordinary, and irresistible at the bottom of that. At the bottom of that deck. <clears throat> Overlooked, not being valued or appreciated, undermined. Hmm. It say overlooked, not being valued or appreciated, undermined, snatched, extremely too hot to handle, very attractive and low vibrational. <laughs> Putting material world above connection to the divine. So for some of you, there could be somebody that looks really, really good here on the outside, but their inside is like their, their internal is really fucked up. They're really low vibrational and materialistic, so they're being overlooked. Okay, somebody is thinking that their looks is going to get them somewhere with somebody and it's not. Or this is how they feel about you or this is how you feel about them. Then I'm getting, you could be overlooking somebody because they are low vibrational. Like you don't got time. Yeah, magnetic, extraordinary, resistible. I feel like for some of you, there's a third party here feeling overlooked. They're like comparing themselves to you or something. <laughs> they feel like, they feel like somebody else is looking at you. Somebody that they want to look at them is looking at you. Okay. Oh, Lord. Yeah, we got admiring from afar. They can look, but they can't touch. Online stalking. Mm. Escapism. <clears throat> Running away from their problems. Somebody views someone as a problem here. <laughs> Big yikes. Major embarrassment, feeling shameful. Yeah. Mm. The bottom of the deck is no cap. <laughs> Authentic, truthful, closeted, skeletons in the closet, in the closet, and secrets and lies. Mm. You can have Pisces in your chart can, so you can be dealing with a Pisces. Aquarius, I just heard. All right, let's see. So somebody here is embarrassed, child. A lot of people getting embarrassed. What's admiring from afar here? It's me. The three of swords in reverse. <clears throat> Libra Saturn. So automatically I'm getting somebody here could want to reconcile with you. Yeah, look, page of cups. <laughs> Somebody can want to reconcile with you. But I, maybe somebody could be looking at you, your healing or whatever. Let's see. What's admiring from afar? Or somebody's like holding a grudge, child. Okay, yeah, no. The Ace of Wands. So you do you do live at a distance from somebody. Okay. And, and they're watching you. Hold on, Cancer. Hold on, Cancer. All right, my bad, uh, Cancer. So, 
They got the Ace of Wands with the Three of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, somebody here could want to travel to reconcile with you. Some of y'all live in a big city or this person lives in a big city here. This could be New York for some of you. Some of y'all could be from New York. Okay. But yeah, somebody could be a fire sign, Aries or Sag. <clears throat> so somebody desires you. For some of you though, you could be starting something new. I feel like I'm hearing the world is my oyster. There's so much potential. There's so much people to, to, to meet, things to see, things to do. Like, you don't got time for this shit, Cancer. But um, let's see. It's Whisper Souls in the reverse. Yeah, okay. The Four of Wands reverse. Yeah, I feel like the reason why somebody's admiring you from afar is because they were the third party. This third party is holding a grudge. The four wands in reverse too could be that somebody is insecure about their stability, their security. Somebody could not have a home with the four wands in reverse. There could be something going on with somebody's home. But I feel like, to be honest, you had a fool. This karmic contract is over between you and this person. It was never meant to be any fucking ways. Even though that might sound, you know what I'm saying, kind of harsh or bad. Especially for those of you that, because I've been there too, honey. Thinking that somebody was for me and they're not. And all that. A hard pill to swallow, but you know, us divine people, we move on. We don't, we don't get bitter. We get better. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, five of wands reverse. We ain't doing all that fighting, competition, whatever the fuck that is. We just move the fuck on. We surrender. Seven of wands reverse. We don't got time. So, yeah, there could be. I mean, somebody could be in a very dysfunctional family dynamic, or somebody's like trying to move away from their hometown. Somebody feels like they don't fit in anymore. When it comes down to where they at. It um, was three of souls reverse, four of wands reverse. Aries, Venus. Okay, yeah, the high priestess. Yeah, like, so I feel like you're subconsciously leaving this shit behind. Somebody, the only thing that they can do is admire you from afar. <laughs> you feel me? Because... I feel like somebody holding a grudge though, man. That three of souls reverse, four of wands reverse. This could be like a whole community or somebody's family that know well this third party, this third party's family or friends or whatever it thinks that you're a mistress with a high priestess. That's what I'm getting. And you're a whole damn divine feminine, divine masculine, but divine feminine here for sure with the high priestess. <clears throat> this person could have a whole community of people hating your ass and you ain't even dealing with whoever the fuck this is is what i'm getting i'm getting that shit again somebody is just mad because somebody still wants you <clears throat> yeah justice reverse and the hermit somebody here getting bad karma for not taking accountability for what they did i feel like whoever this is that's trying to escape from this third party to try to come towards you nine zero nine on the clock they ass getting some karma or this third party could be getting bad karma Somebody could be going to jail. Somebody could be under investigation for something. But this is somebody needing to do their damn shadow work. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so they can take accountability for what the fuck they done did. Period. What's the high priestess? Pisces? Yeah, Knight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you focus on something. This is you focused. There could be some sort of big changes coming in for you. I feel like you're taking action. You're determined. You're driven to go on about your life. Or somebody could be rushing in to come towards you. But I feel like um, yeah, three of Pentacles here with the Ten of Swords. So there, there's three hoes working together to gossip or slander or to curse somebody, to do spell work on somebody here. <clears throat> Something could be coming to an abrupt end and now some shit is just out of control. <laughs> or these, there's, there's hoes here that work together to coerce somebody into doing something. And now this is why somebody feels embarrassed. Because, yeah, five of cubs, now they don't regret because they got coerced into doing some dumb shit with a third party. And now this third party is mad because now the shit is out. Whatever this is, whoever this is, they don't want to be with this hoe. What's the, what's the high priestess with the knight of swords? Okay. 
Yeah, look, King of Swords in the reverse. Somebody's a liar. They're a fucking liar. Just period. So, like, I don't know what to say. <clears throat> Some of you guys could be high priestess. Like, you could be a reader or medium, or you could be psychic. Very intuitive. You could be very mysterious. Yeah, so there's some sort of big changes coming your way. This is you seizing an opportunity, listening to your intuition, following your gut feeling. What's the what's the King of Swords reverse? What the oh, wow, the Queen of Swords upright. What's King of Swords reverse? Queen of Swords upright. That's definitely you. Yeah, Seven of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> So yeah, I feel like you know that somebody's just a fucking liar. I feel like you done lost respect for somebody too. Seven of Wands in reverse. You don't have respect for this person no more. Once the respect is gone in a relationship, that's basically it. It's done. The the Queen of Swords is you raising your standards and you, you know what I'm saying? Setting clear boundaries. Letting it be known what it is and what it ain't. And I feel like, you know, subconsciously, like this is deep here because I feel like normally this person could feel you energetically or they can like feel the love between y'all two or whatever the case may be but i feel like that shit is over with it's done you don't got time for nobody to be putting you in a third party with no fucking a, 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 a hoe that's holding grudges and being spiteful and vindictive and all that dumb shit i feel like you're done you don't got time so you don't lost respect for someone i feel like you surrender something here i feel like somebody here ain't got no damn backbone they make really dumb decisions this king of swords could be could have lied on you or they, I don't really even mean to say that but they obviously lied to you they could have been like really judgmental they could have judged you harshly but somebody really makes irrational decisions with the king of souls reverse <clears throat> somebody is really rigid and stubborn in their ways like they just stuck in their ways they don't want to listen it's like somebody's failing to compromise or failing to you know they just i feel like you're done <laughs> that's just what it is what's the ace of wands and instead of you folding on your beliefs you're gonna cut their ass off first okay the king of wands reverse what's the ace of wands king of wands reverse child please the two of swords. <clears throat> so what? There could be two people here looking at you. Somebody wants to have sex or they're still really attracted to you. But this King of Wands in reverse, two of swords, somebody's really emotionally closed off. Okay. This could be like choosing between two paths, being confused about choosing between two paths or two people. <clears throat> I feel like somebody here wants to call the truth. For some of you, this King of Wands is competing with this King of Swords in the reverse. You didn't cut this King of Swords off and you're focused on something else that I feel like you're keeping quiet to yourself. So this person over here competing with you about a person that you ain't even with. I feel like... <clears throat> Somebody needs to leave you the fuck alone. <laughs> they both do it. This could be the same person. But I feel like you feel inspired. You feel creative. You, you're going after the things that you desire. The things that you're passionate about. You could be traveling, sightseeing, doing fun things. This Ace of Wands is giving me vitality, that get up and go, that drive, that ambition. Okay. So yeah, somebody's at a stalemate. King of Wands reverse with the Two of Swords. Whoever this is right here, they got a stalemate. Because I feel like they like to play around in your damn energy. Because they don't have any King of Wands in reverse. They in the reverse. 
This could be somebody here that's a tyrant. They could be very reckless sexually. Okay, and I feel like they ass is done for too. Let's see who the king wants first. <laughs> it's like now somebody's stuck in between a rock and a wood, a hard place. Yeah, look, child, I cannot make this. This is crazy. Damn, so we got the divine feminines upright. There's distorted masculines here in the reverse. These could be two people, two different. I feel like they're two different people. Wow. Yeah, the star. So you took your power back. This is you feeling empowered, confident, bold feisty fiery like you you doing you period yeah you're focused you don't, you're not even paying attention to neither one of these people really the high priestess they probably both playing in your subconscious or trying to get your attention in some way shape form or fashion because they know they can't touch your ass so they like to play in your subconscious and the knight of swords i feel like it's you being um like i said you're staying focused you have goals that you want to reach and shit like that. You don't got time for this. What's the what's the king of wands, queen of wands here? Or this somebody that you was dealing with that could have been in the upright at first, but they just fell from grace here. They okay, child, the emperor, the temperance reverse, Sagittarius. We got Aries. So this could this could be you taking action here focus, discipline, structure, organization with the emperor. Some of y'all could be getting ready to start a business or you just like really bossing your life up here. You're the boss of your own life. Nobody's going to control you or be a tyrant to you or whatever. I feel like you ignore motherfuckers and you keep moving. Ain't nobody putting their hands on you. So I just feel like, or for some of you, they did. And they can really get in trouble for that shit or they could have gotten in trouble. But for those of you where you ain't, got, you ain't going through none of that, I just feel like ignore it. People can do what they want. It's just all... What you give your time to and what's worth you getting out of your character for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of shit, most shit is not worth that. So, <clears throat> yeah, see. This emperor, I feel like this is a divine masculine. What's the emperor? Or you can have Aries in your chart. The Two of Pentacles. Oh, what's the Emperor with the Two of Pentacles? Capricorn, Jupiter. The Eight of Cups. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. So yeah, the Eight of Cups is you walking away because you see the bigger picture. This Two of Pentacles is staying open, flexible, or being adaptable here. Maybe there was a choice. Or you was conflicted about something, but I feel like you're choosing this emperor. Or this emperor's choosing you. I don't know, but there's balance here, though, with the Two of Pentacles. <clears throat> you could have a lot on your plate here, too, Cancer. You could be juggling a lot. So I feel like you um are working a lot or you just, you know what I'm saying? You're working. For some of you, you have an emperor here that's supporting you. They're helping you to keep things balanced. So that way you can kind of like do you, do your thing, period. I know that's right. Okay. But I feel like you walked away from somebody that was juggling your ass. And this King of Wands right here is competing. That's who the fuck really playing around in your energy. This King of Wands in the damn reverse. This person is obsessed with your sacred energy. They just... <clears throat> You guys have seen two, two, two. Something is balanced out in your energy now. I feel like you walked away from something and instantly became more like you just felt better. Once you really made up in your mind that you're leaving something behind. What's the two of swords? <laughs> the nine of cups. What's two of swords, nine of cups? Pisces, Jupiter. Page of Wands. <clears throat> mm. 
Right now is a very fertile time, honey. Oh, you and this part for some of you, um, you and somebody got a lot of sexual chemistry. I feel like that emperor, I don't know who that, I feel like that's a new person or that's somebody that you've been known, but y'all have made it official or you're going to, you and this person, are y'all doing the nasty? <laughs> are y'all having sex, cancer? I don't know. I see a baby. <laughs> I see a baby. The Nine of Cups and the Page of Wands. I mean, this could just be simply new exciting plans. Okay. Um. <clears throat> but I don't know. I'm getting pleasure. Sex. Nine of Cups is a pregnancy announcement or an engagement announcement. Page of Wands, there's a child. But you and this person could just have new exciting plans here. I feel like you're being pampered. You're being taken care of. You're happy. You're joyful. You're lively. Like, you just feel good. And somebody else is like, what? They're in denial with the two of swords? I don't even feel like that's you being conflicted. You're too confident to be conflicted in the spread. <laughs> you're the high priestess, queen of swords, and the queen of wands. That's somebody else that's like in denial or like they want to call a truce or something like that. Or somebody's like in your energy trying to confuse you about which way to go. I feel like you know exactly where to go. And it's not to neither one of them hoes back here. That's facts. So, <clears throat> oh no, honey. Yeah, the sun. Something here is definitely being exposed. <clears throat> There's some sexual stuff going on over here. Which I do. I want to know if y'all having sex. <laughs> Are y'all doing a nasty case with somebody? Yeah, yeah. It's, it it feels like it's good, too. I can feel the energy. It's some sexual chemistry going on between you and somebody. I don't know. Well, everybody's over here getting on your nerves. Or trying to, anyway. Because I feel like you're unbothered. You over here, honey. You getting your back blown out. Okay, kids. I know that's right. Girl, please. Let's see. What's escapism? <laughs> What's escapism? <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like somebody is trying to, for some of you, somebody is trying to masturbate or they're trying to do something to gain some sort of access to your energy and they can't. <clears throat> they can't. <clears throat> yeah, five of souls reverse, nine of wands in reverse. Somebody got a chip on their shoulder because, yeah, three of wands and the seven of swords. Somebody is trying to escape. They're trying to run away from from their consequences and they're trying to travel or leave or do something and somebody else is mad about it and nobody got time for that shit five of souls reverse could be retaliation nine of wands reverse is somebody here, here that's like they could be out of stalemate but i feel like this is more so somebody like holding a grudge or they they got a chip on their shoulder or something like that like they got a personal vendetta <clears throat> so anyways what's escapism the Six of Cups reverse. What's escapism with the Six of Cups reverse? Scorpio. <clears throat> Four of Pentacles reverse. So this could be somebody here losing something. Well, for one, this could be, I mean, you release something, you let something go, you've grown, <clears throat> you've matured. So you're releasing something that's no longer serving you. Person, paper, person. <laughs> place or thing or mindset or whatever but then i'm getting <clears throat> somebody here won't let you go like there's somebody from your past that won't let you go here they refuse to let you go and this could be because they're trying to take something from you or what the fuck ever somebody could be losing a lot of money they could be losing some things of value like losing certain possessions and shit for some of you, somebody's really financially insecure. What's Four of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, look, Queen of Cups in the reverse. What's Four of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Cups reverse? That's what I'm saying. I knew it was a hole here. Could be another Cancer that's on some dumb shit. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. What's Four of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Cups reverse? Yeah. <clears throat> you guys will be saying 444. This person's stability and security is messed up, and they feel like you did it. And I feel like you ain't had shit to do with it. I feel like that shit was fucked up in, to begin with. And it's even more fucked up that somebody here has been trying to leave this hoe. 
and trying to come towards you or just pretending like they, they were what single fully or they didn't have any issues just for them to turn around and have a third party here on their ass. Somebody, I feel like people are selfish when they do shit like that. Like, you know, you got these kind of problems. Why the fuck you want to lie? <laughs> yeah, look, the king of cups reverse. <clears throat> so yeah, whoever this queen of cups is in reverse, they're just really insecure. Okay, I feel like they're losing money or... Maybe somebody letting this person go. This four of cups in reverse is seizing an opportunity. Moving out of a stalemate. I feel like that's you. What's the four of cups reverse? Or, yeah, look, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you're onto something new, something better. <laughs> What's the four of cups reverse with the Ace of Pentacles? The five of swords in reverse. Yeah, so somebody feels like, okay, well, since you took something from me or blah, blah, blah. They're like, okay, well, I'm just going to haunt you and taunt you and stop your money flow. I'm going to stop you from doing whatever it is that you want to do. I feel like, bitch, right idea, wrong person. <laughs> Actually, the wrong idea. But somebody really feels like they, I don't know. But I feel like this five of swords in reverse is you removing yourself from conflict. You're, you want peace and quiet, and that's what you're going to get. You're moving on to something more solid, stable, and secure. I feel like, though, the five of swords in reverse could be retaliation. Somebody's, like, trying to retaliate while somebody's trying to get their money together or, or get their life together. Somebody's just being a pest. They're being annoying as fuck. Five of swords in reverse, too, could be humiliation. It is. They say big yikes, major embarrassment, shameful. So, yeah, somebody feels humiliated. They feel ashamed or embarrassed because it's like you're moving forward. You have something new. And this third party over here is like, well, why are you worried about her or him having something new? Why you ain't worried about... that? That's the kind of person that this is. This person is just jealous and a loser. <laughs> I feel like y'all be having some... Whoever these hoes are, these hoes be having some misplaced anger, misplaced aggression. It's like, bitch, you need to take that and you really need to transmute it and put it into your craft. Do something with your life because it looks like Queen of Cups in reverse. Somebody's psyche is blocked and their creativity is blocked. They need to go find something else better to do with their damn life instead of chasing some dick that don't want them, nor do they want this damn so-called mistress, which is a damn divine feminine. You can never be no damn mistress. I feel like somebody needs to fucking talk to their damn man or their damn cheating ass woman. One or the damn other. Because you don't even move like that. If you would have known that somebody had a third party, then your ass wouldn't be over there. Somebody here needs to fucking take that anger and go shove it. They need to take that shit and find inspiration to get up and look for a job. Instead of worrying about you all fucking day and this damn man that you're not with. What's the six of cups in the reverse? Judgment in the reverse. What's six cups in reverse, judgment reverse? Knight of Wands, exactly. Exactly, somebody's a knight of fucking wands. Somebody's a knight of wands. <laughs> they gonna do what they wanna do. Or it's like, maybe somebody is single, they're free, but this queen of cups in reverse, just, that's not what's going on in their head with their crazy ass. <laughs> that's not what, what's going on in their mind. They're like, shit, I still own you. You still mine, or you still, or this person keeps on having sex with this queen of cups in the reverse. And I feel like, you know, people can act like sex is not emotions. Baby, sex is emotions for a fact, okay? Because I know for me, as soon as I'm doing something like that, it's like, oh, well, you're mine. <laughs> That's kind of like how it is. Like, not on no possessive shit or nothing like that. It's just like, well, you know, I just feel like we should be together <laughs> at that point. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I get in my feelings. I don't know about y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I definitely get in my feelings. I've already tried it the other ways. It doesn't work, and I don't like it. So, I don't know. People be real brave with the whole casual thing and the, oh, we can just fuck every now and then and hit each other up. But then it's like, uh, nah, a dick ain't dick and vagina is not even that damn important <laughs> at all. At all. So, anyways. <clears throat> so... Somebody 
somebody here with the judgment in the reverse. There could have been some sort of false accusations here about you being an in and out person, like being a player or doing this and doing that. I feel like that's not true, but I just feel like, you know, judgment reverse with the six of cups in reverse. Somebody hasn't forgiven their past. And I feel like any other relationship they get into from here on out is going to fall apart instantly because this person, they, they don't want to heal. They want to run around with the Knight of Wands. The judgment reverse could be malicious gossip as well false accusations a lesson not being learned somebody here not forgiving somebody hasn't forgiven somebody from their past i feel like it's you whoever this is i'm, I'm getting two stories you could have dealt with a situation that mirrors the main situation so like for example you have an ex which I feel like is here, strong, that King of Wands in reverse. You moved on from that person and they tried to move on with somebody else and that shit ain't work and they still pressed about you. The third party is just like they are, this, this ex of yours. But you've been moving on with your life. Then you found a King of Swords in the reverse that has a similar situation going on. They try to put you in a third party because they're tired of the bitch that they're laying around with or whatever the fuck this is, the baby mama, whoever, baby daddy. And it's like they're playing games it's like these two situations they marry each other that's why the king of swords reverse queen of swords came out upright king of wands reverse queen of wands came out upright i never seen nothing like that so that's just letting me know that this is these are two major karmic lessons that you had to learn from just period <clears throat> and now whoever didn't put you both of these people put you in third parties bro or this could be different people i don't know But, I mean, these could be the same people, sorry. But, mm. It was the Knight of Wands. A matter of fact, what's the Judgment Reverse? <clears throat> the Magician. What's Judgment Reverse with the Magician? The Moon Reverse. It's somebody here is psychic you can see right through somebody's ass the moon in reverse with the magician this judgment in reverse too could talk about a lack of self-awareness self-doubt indecision somebody six of cups in reverse is still naive they're still gullible or this is this person that's trying to be in and out of your life while they have a queen of cups on the side it's like get the fuck on somewhere but i feel like this is you manifesting and standing in your power you are no longer in fear or worried about anything. Ain't shit for you to worry about or stress about. I feel like you're very mentally strong and you're very clear about what you want and what you're trying to manifest. So all this other shit right here with these hoes and these third party hoes, I feel like you're disinterested. You don't got time for that. Like, not at all. <clears throat> Something is definitely being revealed. Something could be being revealed to you through your third eye your third eye chakra could be like really really um heightened at this time your psychic awareness and your psychic abilities could be heightened and i feel like you're just really 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 having you have strong mind control yeah like it probably took you a while to get here too Cause I'm pretty sure these people psychologically abuse your ass. What's the what's the Knight of Wands <laughs> with these all these fucking mind games? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody don't want to fucking invest. They don't want to invest. They don't want nothing solid. <clears throat> the love is unrequited. Somebody is running around doing whatever the fuck they're doing. I feel like whoever this Queen of Cups is is not even gullible. They need to wake the fuck up. And they mad at the wrong bitch. Period. <laughs> like they mad at the wrong damn person. So, I don't know, but um, the Seven of Pentacles is like <clears throat> somebody not investing into something. Something is just a waste of damn time. Seven of Pentacles in reverse is a bad investment. 
or somebody pulling their energy back. They're not investing and they're taking, they're getting ready to do something else with their time. And I feel like if this is somebody here that they were with and you were, you was with the same person that once upon a time, I feel like you don't want that. Like you really don't. This person, they, they damn, they damn near don't want you. They out and about doing whatever the fuck they're doing. So, okay. Seven of Pentacles too in reverse is like change of plans. This is the plans are changing, period. That's that queen of cups up there talking shit about you. This person up here talking shit about you, judging you, whatever the fuck. I mean, I feel like you don't care. Saying nasty shit about you all because this Knight of Wands wants to leave or they want to do whatever they want and they're not investing anymore into this person. They're not giving their ass no more fucking money or something like that. That's really the reason why you hoes be mad. It's always about money. You don't give a fuck about these men and these damn little boys don't care about your asses either. That's the problem with the world. What's the big yikes? Major embarrassment, feeling shameful. Six of Swords. Yeah, because you're moving on a peaceful and calmer waters. You don't got time to be dealing with nobody's baby mama and they raggedy ass baby daddies. Nine of damn pentacles. Exactly. Child, please. <laughs> like, that's the energy you're in. <laughs> so this is you. You can be single, happy, self-sufficient, abundant, or you just free yourself from the mess. This is you enjoying the fruits of your labor. You could be vacationing, taking care of yourself. Like, you look good. Stress-free. Or you getting ready to be. Fuck, you gotta be... Okay, what's Six of Swords? So your guides are moving you into peaceful and calm waters. Or some of y'all are traveling. Okay, the strength card. Yes, yeah, so you gain the strength and the courage to leave something behind. This is you feeling secure. Feeling confident. Shining bright with that Leo energy. What's the Six of Swords with the strength? Okay, yeah, the hangman. Because you realize something. So, yeah, I feel like before you sacrifice yourself, I feel like you can already sacrifice their asses. Or you already did. With the hangman, this is you letting go, realizing something and releasing it. Period. What's the nine of pentacles? The death card reverse. And the five of pentacles reverse. <clears throat> So I feel like you realize this is not the end of the road for you. It's just the end of this cycle. <laughs> you got a, a, a lot of other good shit coming in for you. It's just the end of this damn cycle. Somebody don't want to change their damn ways. Five of Pentacles in reverse. This could be some sort of financial recovery or um, any ailments you had, you could be getting better. Like if you were sick or something like that, you weren't feeling well, you could be getting better. Okay, but something is in recovery mode or this is replenishment with the five of pentacles reverse. What's five? What's five of pentacles reverse? Yeah, the eight of pentacles. What's five of pentacles reverse, eight of pentacles? I feel like your spirit team is getting ready to bless you with money, with like your material wealth because you passed the test. Yeah, the four of swords. Yeah, so this is you resting, healing. <clears throat> yeah, that's like restoration here. Some of y'all could be getting rest or you could be just planning for your future. You're working. You're really just focused on your work like dead ass. <laughs> you're focused on building here. I feel like you're really skilled at doing something too. Somebody could be a massage therapist. You could work from home for some of you. Yeah. What's the death card reverse? The tower reverse. Aries, Scorpio, and the Page of Cups. The Fool.
So I feel like you averted a tower. You avoided a damn tower. Because I feel like maybe you could have been idolizing a connection. It, it wasn't going nowhere. It's just dreamy. It's just so, oh, you know, maybe one day type shit. I feel like, yeah, I feel like you're not wasting your damn time no more. <laughs> like, it's a no. You're setting yourself free. It's too much going on. It's too much. Spirit wants you to do some other shit. Just period. There could be an inevitable tower here. I just feel like something ain't over for you. What's this? What's this page of cups? Let me see. The eight of wands and the temperance reverse. Sagittarius. I feel like some of y'all are going to have a baby. I Look, I keep getting that shit now. Some of y'all can be pregnant. Let me know in the comments if you are. Congrats. But I keep getting something about a baby. I don't know. You could be getting ready to birth something new or whatever. This shit itch. Hold on, Cancer. Hold up now, because I don't do all the uncomfortable shit. I started not to even wear a dress. I mean, y'all know I like my biker shorts and my damn tank tops and all that. This shit is I'm getting on my nerves. <laughs> like, for real. So, anyways. <clears throat> yeah, third eye intuition. Yeah, I just feel like you avoided a tower here. You don't got time for this shit, man. It's a no. Temperance in reverse is doing something they hate. So this is like, there's like discord, chaos, drama. And somebody here admires you or something. They want to speak to you with all their damn drama for what? Yeah, or I feel like this could be like you listening to your inner voice about moving forward, moving on. For some of you guys, there could have been some sort of hormonal imbalance here or something like that. If, if that was the case, I feel like you're healing from something health-wise. Love flutters. Yeah, you can be in love with somebody. Getting to know each other. Career moves. Picking up the pieces, making sense of it all, moving on, period. Exactly. Divine payout. That's like the Ten of Pentacles, Divine Feminine. <laughs> That's the Ten of Pentacles. Street credit, whatever it takes. Yeah, you don't... That's the King of Wands in reverse. I mean, it could be that, that King of Swords in reverse, too. They could be both the same people. I just feel like there's two different energies here, though. Two tough cycles that you had to work through, yeah, to get to this. Like this is like the Ten of Cups, to get to your 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 peace and happiness. So in love, super sweet, honey. Yeah, I feel like. Uh, let's see, what's divine payout? Some of y'all got a lot of money coming to you too. You can really see progress. The runaround. What's divine payout with the runaround? An offer. <clears throat> Popping up, reaching out, new love cycle. What's the runaround? <clears throat> Unbalanced here and love birds. Mm. So yeah, you had to balance some sort of karma out here with that unbalance. You could be dealing with the Libra. You had to balance some sort of karma out to get to a connection that is meant for you. Spirit was waiting for you to leave this shit behind or leave something behind <clears throat> that was giving you to run around so that way you can get to your Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> What's an offer? 
it, not the one. <clears throat> Friends only at best. What's an offer? Exactly, and dirty photos. Somebody mad because you friend zoned them. And like I said, somebody looking at your photos, they're doing something to your, your photos here. They're doing something with your sexual energy. Playing around in your sacral chakra, like I said. Yeah, look, not feeling so well. Now somebody else sick. I feel like this person, <clears throat> they've been fucking, especially if you're a woman. They just been living in your sacral chakra. Like, yeah, someone's pregnant or wants a baby. Sucker for love here. Some of y'all could be pregnant, like I said. I don't know, child. That shit coming out a lot. What's street credit? <clears throat> liar in the reverse. So this person here that wants the street credit or this validation here said that you were a liar and you're not. They know that you're not a liar. And then we have incoming messages. What's, what's liar? What's incoming messages? Hustling, bossing up, and two-faced. So this two-faced energy could be getting some sort of intel on you or somebody here is getting paid to be two-faced towards you to say nasty shit about you or whatever this is what's this liar in reverse the soul contract Getting it all out, emotional dumping. Yeah, talking to friends. So yeah, this is you releasing. I feel like this is you grieving on a spiritual level. Yeah, because thief is here. Somebody's been stealing your energy, I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. With hustling and incoming messages and two-faced, for some of you, this is all spiritual. Somebody could, you could be thinking that somebody's going to reach out to you, but this is them planning your subconscious. And this is you grieving to me to get prepared for a soul contract that's supposed to be for you here. <laughs> it's what I'm getting. Yeah, now somebody else is stressed over money issues with these groupie hoes because they try to play in your face. They try to play in your energy. Yeah, escaping, taking trips, jealousy, toxic lover, heating up, quality time. Yeah, spiritual work. Somebody, yeah, spiritual work and red flag. I mean, sexual fantasies. Spiritual work, sexual fantasies, and red flags. Gamble. Male spying and delusional. Somebody, this person here is doing some sort of magic. Just period. Or they're trying to do some sort of mirror magic to see who you fucking with. And bitch, it don't matter because it's definitely not true and it's never going to be you. <laughs> like, ever again. What the fuck? Yeah, feeling complete. This is you. Feeling whole, happy, complete. Just period. Like, you're, you're, it feels like you at the Ten of Cups. Game over, endings, rejection, blocked, and manipulator. Yeah, this their time is up. If this is the same person, the King of Wands, King of Swords in reverse, they done. All that planning your energy and lying to these hoes, pillow talking or whatever the fuck they child look at pillow talk on the back of the deck. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like this person just playing around in your energy. That's all they do. What's feeling complete? <laughs> I miss you. Doing too much at once. That's like the Ten of Wands card to me. She looks stressed as hell. And then we have haters. So yeah. Pillow talk here on the front. Always on their phone. Not going anywhere. Trust issues. Painting a different picture about why y'all separated. You know what I mean? That, that's what they've been doing. What's, what's game over? Giving and secretive. Yeah, it's something that you're keeping on the low. Like, you're keeping your, your shit to yourself. And I just really feel like, you know, it ain't no need for you to broadcast. You're probably not keeping it on the low on purpose. 
It's just like you're living your life. If somebody here see you with somebody, then that's what the fuck they see you with. It don't matter what the fuck they gonna do about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and all they can do is be sitting up there mad. It is what the fuck it is. This giving is like the Six of Pentacles to me. So something here is balanced out or... I don't know. But this is this is equal give and take to me. <clears throat> What's manipulator? Or... Yeah, passion in the reverse. Passion in the reverse and wasting time. What's passion reverse? Because that's... What's passion reverse here? Popping up, reaching out... And third eye intuition, yeah, somebody playing in your energy. <laughs> they playing in your energy. Congrats, lesson learned, celebration, romantic gifts, focusing on self. Then we got opportunists here with a mental and physical illness. Yeah, this shit going back, spiritual intervention, whatever they projected onto you, it's going back on their ass. It's going back. What's wasting time? Balance, exactly. Unbalance is over here with the runaround. Yeah, it's because you're with lovebirds. Okay, yeah, I see it now. Somebody else is unbalanced because you have a love, like you're in love with somebody or you're going to, and this is a part of your inheritance with the divine payout. Okay, then we have <clears throat> balance. Somebody here wasted time to regain balance and control in their own life. Yeah, we got boundaries in the reverse. Yeah, so in love, peace and happiness, compatible connection. Exactly. <clears throat> yeah, you balance your energy out because you stop letting somebody pop in and out of your life too. Somebody wasted it. Somebody wasted too much damn time. They sitting up here playing games because they don't want to set clear boundaries. You don't got time for nobody. That's why I feel like there's two different people here. One of them hasn't set boundaries with their baby mama, baby daddy. And the other one is just a, <clears throat> they're a bitter ass ex here. They've been playing in your energy. Always on their phone in the reverse, not going anywhere. A misunderstanding. Homebody, male spine, and getting to know each other. Brick wall, gold digger. Yeah, there's a male spying on you because they want to get to know you. Because you could feel like home to them or they ask want you to stay home and wait for their ass. I feel like it's a fuck no. <laughs> but they're hitting a brick wall because they're dealing with a gold digger. And they don't, they, they're not making changes. So what's always on their phone in the reverse? Okay. Yeah, busy working and ghosting. <clears throat> So I feel like with always on their phone in the reverse, like you're not, you're not in your phone thinking about no damn body. You're not. What's ghosting? Or seeking evidence reversed and mass feelings reversed. So I just feel like this is a game somebody be playing. Because now now that you, somebody likes to play that cat and mouse shit, now that you're not thinking about them or you don't want to fuck with them, they want to fuck with you. And they really think that you're going to sit up here and play this game because I feel like you laid out all on the line for them. Like, you know, there something is apparent that you that you like them at once upon a time or you wanted something from them at once upon a time. But they kept ghosting you because what? They were busy working, quote unquote. Now that you're busy working... And I feel like you're really gonna stay at work, bitch. You're not, you're not, you're not gonna focus on this person no more. Now it's like, oh, you're not going anywhere. I feel like, bitch, please. Somebody here likes to play these damn games. What's this busy working card? Yeah, we often take for granted the ones that are there for us the most. And elevating my divin divinity, exactly. You're elevating. Now you're busy working and you're not thinking about their ass at all ever again. Like that that's that's what's crazy. They play with you for the last damn time. 
They play with you now, somebody in their feelings. A blessing, new door opening. Some of you guys could be getting a new home. Female spine, struggle, challenge, and peace out. Now somebody <clears throat> in these hoes, spine, and all this dumb shit. What's not going anywhere? Enchanted and push start. Let the games begin. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Somebody thinks some shit is a game and it's not. What's a misunderstanding? I don't want to hurt you and for the streets, known to have a certain reputation. Hmm, friends can be an influence. If somebody's friends, somebody's friends influence this person or coerce them, like I said, to, to go towards something new or act cold towards you or whatever this is. Going goes, popping in and out. Yeah, somebody somebody got coerced into doing some dumb shit. Now they wanna now they wanna oh it's a misunderstanding, bitch please. It's definitely not. <laughs> What's understood? We 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 understand now. It's, it's all great. It's all good and dandy. Move on. <laughs> Move the fuck on because cancer sure is. I hope you are cancer. I hope you are because nobody got time. And whoever the fuck this is over here planning your energy, it's, it's been done with them. It's been a wrap. They asking Ray probably go broke and everything else because they keep on trying to use your energy to manifest off of. I'm getting like two separate energies, but... I feel like honestly they both are players they both play games and they both are feeling the loss of you so what's coming in for cancer this could be past present future cancer more attention to your health and promptly address any concerns an illness is surrounding you but the outcome will turn out for the best what the fuck is that about this is them or you maybe maybe it could just be stress child. I don't know you may feel an unsettling energy at this time as your future may seem uncertain even though you may not see it a higher power is currently working behind the scenes paving, paving the path forward for you the intentions of a secret admirer will become known you will soon meet someone new that is a part of your soul family. A deep friendship will form that will help you further evolve. A time of evolution and growth of self approaches. You will feel a higher frequency of energy surrounding you in comparison to recent past. Peace, harmony, and balance that has been lacking in your life will soon be restored. Be mindful of advice you give at this time. Someone will misunderstand your intentions and develop our feelings. <laughs> That's why they have getting left now because they don't know how to take it constructive criticism nobody okay it say you will soon gravitate towards your sole purpose and intended path so that's under pay more attention to your health and promptly address any concerns and you will soon gravitate towards your soul's purpose and intended path an illness is surrounding you but the outcome will turn out for the best under it it says within this year there will be a reconciliation with someone from your past an exciting new love relationship will become available to you this year that will promise many new passionate opportunities. A romantic interest has been anxious in anticipation to receive a message and hear from you. They're not going to hear from you. Somebody need to leave y'all alone. I'm serious. I'm speaking for my damn cancer Mars. Leave us alone. We don't, we don't want to be bothered, okay? But it's a time of fun, adventure, and exploration with others' approaches. You will feel a sense of rejuvenation as you embrace these social invitations. Time spent apart from a loved one will be inevitable. A secret that has been kept from you will soon be revealed. Happier times lie ahead. Stressors of, stressor, blah, blah, blah. Stressors of the past will soon seem insignificant. A challenging situation within family will be resolved. Financial constraints may leave you feeling weary about your future. Take time to budget your finances. 
and there will be a move or relocation in the near future. So I want to see something. Let me see. Let me just see something. I don't know what deck I want to use. Duh, unexpected death. Frustrations, misery, feeling caged, loneliness, unpleasant surprises, unhappiness. Broken mirror, duality, important changes, bad self-image, underestimate, rejuvenation, reflection, and truth revealed. Yeah, I feel like somebody... Okay, then we have... Something about mirrors... Like I said, you and this person, you and these people here, these were mirrors for you to grow. And I feel like both of their asses ran out of time. They didn't want to grow at that time. So, okay, whatever. Pay more attention to your health and promptly address any concerns. What the hell is that? Oh, okay. See, shell increased sexual pleasures, fertility. What I say, it's about a baby. Safe journeys ahead, relaxation, wealth, joyful love life, vacation, and communication. Okay, so I don't know. Some of y'all, I don't know. You're trying to have a baby or something, Cancer? What's this address any concern? Or, I don't know, child. Not. Life everlasting, commitments, love, loyalty and love, independence, friends, success, and difficult endeavors and freedom. So I feel like, I really feel like whatever this is right here, something was binding you or something like that. I feel like, okay, we got entanglements, complications, confusion, inner turmoil, conflicts, restrictions, embarrassment ahead. That's, in the, that's on the other side. Immortality, inner strength, I mean, inner growth, strength, protection against evils, divine messages, resilience, and determination, mindset shift. What else for this? Um, pay more attention to your health and promptly address any concerns. For some of you, just stay sick ass. Somebody is really sick. It could be this other person. They say pay more attention to nutrition opportunities with a time limit. Health, wealth, and prosperity is yours. Yeah. On the other side, it say something is hidden. Dig deeper. Isolation and coldness, mourning, loss, short-term delays, living in the past. Mm. Harp. Hope, authentic, knows oneself, disconnect from conflict, peace, new friends, and live in harmony. And then on the other side, it's unable to avoid harmful events, sorrow, failures, debt, separation, cannot trust others, and severe illness. I feel like this was something that somebody did to you is backfiring. <laughs> yeah, look, we got fire, nostalgic, yearning. Calmness, shedding a burden, rejuvenation, transformation, rebirth, and passion. Yeah. What's, uh, what's this beside it? An illness is surrounding you, but the outcome will turn off for the best. What is that? Somebody playing around in your sacred chakra though. Somebody did something to like your reproductive system. I don't know if they did womb magic. If they did, they did some sort of sacral chakra magic. I don't know what the fuck they did. But they definitely did something to try to hurt your, like try to hurt you. Yeah, dead flowers. DK, bonds are breaking. Grief. 
I feel like just this person too. They like to they like to live in your energy. They need some healing energy to keep them going. Okay, they they like need your energy. Grief, too much time has passed, sadness, negative energy around you, and death. On the other side, I say long term sickness extended. Child, profound change and courage needed. Time to process your grief naturally. Wedding ring. Suspicious, need to compromise, misunderstandings and arguments, anxious about your relationship. Four leaf clover, more comfortable life ahead, money, security, success, joy, personal gain, and success and career. Four leaf clover on the other side, it says seek a new purpose in life, practice self-care and self-love, overwhelmed by responsibilities. On this other side, it says beginning of, so yeah, this is you processing your feelings right here, uh, divine, I mean, uh, I'm about to call you divine feminine, cancer. Beginning of a new relationship, solutions to your problems, new love, commitment, loyalty, wealth, and decision. Briefcase, loss of a job, delayed payment, stress, stop, separation, risky, dissolution, neglectful, and fearful. The briefcase on the other side is power, fair work, responsible, stability, ambition, importance, new business venture, and stress-free. I feel like this day as they gotta they gotta um this is they as they gotta process their feelings the natural way. Yeah, because they, they're not doing that. This person wants to use you to hide from their karma to hide from things like your energy is so powerful that it's saving this person from healing it's like they like to play around your energy like that they like to be saved from their healing process going through the process and now it's time for them to do it just period what's within this year there will be a reconciliation with someone from their past damn i didn't mean to be on here for this long but i wanted to see what the fuck that is Gavel, laying down the law, dismissed, difficult work that isn't desirable, you need to get someone's attention. Correction of injustice, attention, justice and fairness, positive results, power and respect, authority figure. Eyeglasses, clear your mind, clear vision, different perspectives, relax, watch out for conflicts and focus. Some of y'all might have to go to court. You could be done with a Libra. Yeah, it's a difficult work that isn't desirable and need to get someone's attention. Yeah, somebody's like really trying to get your attention really bad. <laughs> because for some of you, you could be reconciling with someone that's good for you, like your actual person. And for others of you, somebody here just wants to reconcile with you just to like get saved from their karma. Yeah, we got temptation, good health, knowledge, wisdom, luxury, your time has come, and fertility again. Somebody's just trying to throw you off your... Throw you off your A-game. What's you will soon gravitate towards your soul's purpose and intended path? Snuffed candle. Deadlines. Running out of time. Stop wasting time. Procrastination. End of a life phase. A new life phase. Period. Snuffed candle on the other side is victim of rumors or gossip. Challenges on spiritual journey. Future sickness. Damage control. Somebody here really try to... I feel like somebody try to make you sick, bro. Like, they really try to fuck with your health. I'm telling you. I don't know. So, we got stars here. Freedom. Dreams coming true. Divine guidance. Enlightenment. Good luck. Destiny. And enlightenment. Oh, they, they put enlightenment twice. Then we got stars on the other side. Look for synchronicities to help you. Feeling lost, but guidance will arrive. Dreams feel far away, but keep going. Yeah, I feel like on this on this side here, you're finally free. Your dreams are coming true now. You got good luck. You're getting ready to go towards your destiny. Yeah, so. Uh, I feel like it's important for you to just not stress at this time. Really just take your time. What's a challenging situation within family will be resolved?
clock, indecisive in making choices, impulsive, difficult times ahead, delays due to hardships and struggles. Mm -hmm. New opportunities, be patient, make the best out of, uh, out of the situation, do not give up during hard times. Mm. Somebody else's ass getting ready to go through it. <laughs> it's giving. There are unnecessary barriers. You are blocking opportunities. Problems may arise later in the future. Mm. Change is coming. Opportunities protected from other people. Safety, power, and authority and new beginnings. Yeah, I feel like that's you on the other side. Somebody else can go through it, period. Okay. All right, so... Yeah. So, okay, Cancer. I just wanted to see what that was. Okay. <laughs> this is your reading. I hope it resonated for you. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my reads. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.